All right, this is a video on how to get your screens to show up on Pinball FX3. This right here is a two video, uh, a two screen setup, but it's exactly the same as the three. I'll show you what's going on. So if you haven't done so already, you're gonna have to go up here and click on that cabinet right there. And then you have to activate cabinet mode and you're gonna have to email them and then they're gonna email you back the next day and then they're gonna want you to send them a picture of your cabinet and then you're gonna do that and then they're gonna email you back the day after that with your code. And that's gonna enable you to have this menu. So usually your screen's gonna be turned sideways. You'll hit this a few times to get that to 270. Then you're gonna turn your dot matrix repositioning from off to on as well. You're gonna, so this is basically the position where the screen's at and then this is the size of the screen. They're all gonna be at zero. We got the back glass, basically the size of the back glass. So just make these small for now. So just, let's say 800 and 800, that's fine. You can do that on both of the sizes for the dot matrix too. And then the horizontal position is basically going this way. So let me just show you how the screen should be. Okay, right here is your display settings. And so your screens, you can move them around. You gotta line them up so that the tops are even across. And basically the very tip top of this is zero. So that would be zero horizontal position. So what you wanna do is basically, you wanna get your screen to the corner of whatever screen you want it on and then you can size it from there. So basically you're just gonna enter this in different numbers until you one, can see a black box on one of your screens, and then you're just gonna manipulate these. That's my DMD, so let's see. My back glass. So the back glass is actually at zero. My DMD is weird because I have two screens, and so what I've done with my DMD is I brought it over, and then I brought it down. So that's why it has a different horizontal position. So the back glass, though, it's just slid straight over, as you saw, and so that's at the vertical position of zero, so the top is lining up at zero. Now, if I were to change this to 10, look what happens. So I'll go, I'll just change it to 15. Now I'm gonna hit enter and look what's gonna happen. Now I just brought that down to 15. Now if I went to uh, here and I did the horizontal position to 3860, okay, I'm gonna hit enter and just so you can see. So I'm moving it around. So I had to mess with these numbers, entering them until I found just what was right. I think, was that 45? Oh, no, so I have to go 40. There it is, so that's perfect. And then that was at zero. So basically, this these two are the size of your screen. This is the main one you're gonna worry about is the horizontal position of your DMD and back glass and just start entering numbers in here and you'll see them and they'll start sliding sideways. And okay, if your size is at zero, zero, there's gonna be nothing to see. So you have to have some in there. But like I said, find your stuff first by entering this, it's gonna slide you sideways and they'll show up on your other screens. And this will most likely be at zero. If you got your screens lined up, that's the vertical position. And then once you get them on the right screen, then you'll tweak these numbers to make them fit exactly. So that's basically how that works.